Hello and welcome to today's yoga practice. If you're new here, I'm Jessica, or if you've been here before, welcome back. We are going to be working on a really great standing yoga flow, opening the body, creating space, relieving tension and tightness through the sides of the body, hips, and low back. This is a standing yoga practice. However, we are going to definitely make this modified and accessible to everyone. There are no floor poses today. I have my chair here today to support me with some of our postures that require a little bit of balance. If you do not feel comfortable with your level of flexibility, it is a great way to provide you support and allow you to fill in space. If you've been practicing for a while or you're confident in your ability to come deeper into poses, you can use a yoga block or go ahead and take some of our forward folds all the way down to the floor. Go ahead, get everything set up and we are gonna get started right now. We're gonna start here today behind the chair. So please allow spacing for yourself to move back and a little bit off to the sides as well. We're gonna start here, body close to the chair in a nice mountain pose, soften through those feet. They are hips distance apart, equal spacing through the toes all the way down to the heels. Tuck those hips forward, pull the core muscles up and in and extend those fingertips down to the floor. You can close your eyes and take a few quiet breaths for yourself here. Hands can rest to the back of the chair if that's a little bit better fit. Great place to find an intention for today's practice or to close out your week or start your weekend with. It's so individual to everyone, just whatever speaks to you here. Great job. If the hands are on the back of the chair, release them down to the sides. Inhale, straighten them up overhead. Exhale, bring them down through the center of the body. Prayer position here. Let's take one more just like that. Inhale, open it up. Exhale down through the center in prayer position, and we will let those palms land to the back of the chair. We'll go ahead here and step ourselves off to the right side of the chair, just slightly, Don't, not a huge step, stay, stay close here just to start. Inhale, take a good deep breath in, and exhale, shimmy those hips to that right side, turn the body here to the left, Step it wide, pull those hips back, lower yourself down here, resting on the back of the chair, or if you can come a little bit lower, like I said, you have the ability to use a yoga block, come to the floor or the thighs, definitely watch out for the back of the chair. And let's go ahead here, take that right leg, step it over there with the left, shimmy those hips to the left side, turning the body here to the right, soft bend in the knees. Great job. As we bring those hips back to the center, we'll step this left leg back, right leg back, and take the left leg back with it, lengthening a little bit further this time. Still just a little bit wider. Then hips distance apart, tailbone tucking forward. Great job here. Shift those hips over to the right side. Through the center, nice and easy. Shift them over to the left. Great job here. Go ahead, step them together. Inhale, bring the body back up. And exhale, bend those knees, soften it back down. We'll go ahead and just so that you can see me, we'll start here with the left arm, open it out T position. Take an inhale, exhale, thread it through and under that right arm. Inhale to open, exhale to thread through. Great job, one more time here. Inhale to open, 
exhale threading it through and under drop that arm down and just create nice circles here really letting tension pour out of the shoulder the arm you can give it a shake you can swing it side to side all options are welcome here place that left hand back to the chair step it on forward beautiful job right hand can stay to the chair let's inhale take this left arm over slight bump of those hips here to that left side extend this left arm over to the right creating length inhale draw it up release that arm back down great job here inhale hands come up overhead exhale down through prayer center one more inhale up overhead exhale down through prayer center let those palms find the back of the chair once again beautiful job go ahead here step the left leg back press that heel on down into the floor if it doesn't touch you have the option to shorten up your stance just a touch there front knee right knee is bending forward nice and easy we're gonna go ahead here and take a pyramid pose pulling those hips back and allowing the forearms to rest to the chair here as we stretch those hips all toes facing forward 12 noon midnight on a clock go ahead gently bend through that front knee back leg draws up to meet it back here at the top we'll take this right leg back same thing press that heel on down send those hips forward body spine stays tall allow the back to align with that back leg so you don't want to be straight up in the back and at this angle in the back line it all the way up great job here pyramid pose send those hips back as you straighten through that front leg go ahead ease it on down resting on the back of your chair here opening up through the backs of the legs you'll definitely feel the back of this left hip opening great for opening up the sciatica beautiful job bend it back forward rather than stepping this right leg up we'll take the left leg back to meet it here just a little bit wider than hips distance i overstepped there if you did too you can adjust anytime through this practice here today soften it down we'll go ahead here get this left hand out of the way shimmy those hips to the left turn the body slightly just looking behind them left hand comes back to the chair drop the right hand hips shimmy to that right side looking over and back with the right upper body there send them back to the center right arm roll open out to T position good deep breath in exhale thread it through and inhale open it back out exhale thread it through inhale to open one more time here exhale empty out that breath find that nice rotation through the spine and inhale take it back step those feet on up gently here great job left hand comes to the chair just for a little bit of support there reach this right arm up good deep breath in exhale bump those hips slightly to the right feet stay flat on the floor and find this nice extension through the right side body here inhale draw it up beautiful job we're gonna go ahead here and come on over to the side of your chair we'll start here on the right side you can start on the left just remember 
to reverse it on out. Good deep breath in, nice and tall. Taking a nice spinal roll here. Tuck the chin, shoulders soften forward, chest tucks. Bending all the way down, hand finds the back of the chair. Inhale, flatten the back, press those legs back, pull the shoulders back, forward fold here, halfway. Good deep breath in, exhale, tuck those hips, bend those knees forward, roll this spine back up. Oh, great job there, I really love those nice spinal rolls, even standing or sitting, they just feel so good. We're gonna take this right leg here, cross it behind the left. It does not need to be a big cross, the feet can be close or further apart. Spacing is really individual here, whatever feels good in your body. Left hand comes to the chair, right arm reaches up and over, exhale. Nice, soft bump of those hips to the right side. Open the body here. Allow yourself to feel the hip stretch. Maybe even down through that back right leg there. Opening the body. As you can see, I've turned my gaze down towards my left hand, just alleviating a little tension through the neck there. Inhale, roll it back up. Go ahead, step that right foot back forward, left foot comes on back. We're gonna take a pyramid pose with a twist here. So we're gonna straighten those legs, send those hips back, taking ourselves just parallel to the floor. You can definitely lift up if you need to on a good deep breath in. Followed up with an exhale, reaching that right arm towards the chair. Left arm can just rest to the back, the hip, wherever you feel comfortable here. Again, creating space through the side body, through the spine, opening up the sciatica area. Great job here. Roll it back to the center. Give this right arm here a little wiggle. I am remembering that we may have skipped that on the ending there. Better late than never. Side to side, little shake, circles, like I said, all movements welcome here. Soften through those feet, bend those knees forward, roll the spine back up nice and easy. Shimmy here, take a quick second to explore how everything is feeling. When you're ready, we will step it on over to the left side of the chair hips distance through those feet again. Inhale, create length through the body. Exhale, start to tuck the chin, rolling through the neck, through the shoulders, chest, rib cage, all the way down here. Right hand floats gently to find the chair, just allowing a nice heaviness here. On the inhale, straighten the legs, straighten the back, pull those core muscles up and in, shoulders out of the ears. And then exhale, soften it forward, bend those knees, roll those hips forward, reversing the curl through the spine, all the way back up here. Beautiful job. Step this left leg back behind the right again. Spacing is just whatever feels good in your body. Bump those hips just softly to the left side. Left arm reaches up and over. Exhale. Bend this body, creating such a beautiful, graceful movement here. Really lengthen. And then inhale. Draw it up. Release that arm. We'll step that left foot forward. Take the right foot back. Again, spacing, whatever feels good in your body here. Let those hips shift back. Exhale, soften it forward. Follow through with a great inhale here. And then as you start that deep exhale, twist that left arm over here to the right side. Feeling a stretch 
through the legs, through the hip, and through this side body. Wonderful job here. Go ahead, release. Step that back foot forward, or just bring them to meet each other. Roll it on up. Nice and easier, hopefully. Waves of relaxation are washing over the body. Go ahead here. If you are working with your chair, take a seat. If you feel comfortable, you can, of course, sit on the floor if you are working without a chair here today. We're gonna go ahead, inhale, take this length up through the spine. Exhale, tuck that chin through the neck through the shoulders and chest, roll it on down. Extend those arms all the way out, lift them up. Add an angle here, so chair pose. In a chair, we're just taking the legs out of it for you. Good deep breath in, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, extend those arms back out to chair pose. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, draw those arms back to the center. Raise them up overhead with you. Exhale, hands fall down through prayer position here. Hold those hands at the chest. You can hold the heart. You can hold the belly. Wherever feels good for you. Take a good deep breath in through the nose. Allow those lips to part open. Breath washes out of you. One more just like that, inhale. And exhale. Rest those hands in a comfortable position. Allow the shoulders to fall away from the ears. Slight tuck of the chin. Few quiet moments for yourself, connect. To your body connect to your intention November is a great month to practice gratitude and thankfulness so the option here to connect to that as well on the next breath and return those hands to the heart sit it on up nice and tall through the spine and exhale bow it forward here with me namaste i really appreciate you guys joining me for this yoga flow anytime you guys work out with me i really cherish that time together i will be here to support you on your health and fitness journey with yoga cardio seated workout strength training whatever you can think of i hope that that option is here for you in this channel if you haven't already please think about hitting that subscribe button before you head out today i will see you guys back for another amazing workout very soon until then take good care of yourselves and thank you for watching